True Plays. Hello everybody, True Mavis here, your 2 million G gamer. Welcome to another True Plays. Today we're going to be looking at a game called Tetragon. It's on Xbox One and Xbox Series consoles. It's published by Buka Entertainment and developed by Cafundo Studio Creativo. I think that's a company name rather than an individual's name. It's something e Studio Creative, and I don't know what Cafundo means. Maybe it's uh, the name of the person who's developed most of this. Uh, it came out the 12th of August, so it's uh, been out about a month and a half now. It's a puzzle game, it's priced at £12.50 in the UK, and it is uh, €15.15. Euros. We're going to have a look at it, see what we think, see if it's any good. Um, let's start by having a look at the achievement list. There's only 12. So we have find and interact with all ghosts of your son, so we're going to find ghosts, okay. I'm going to collect all fragments of the tetragen, so we've got to find some fragments and ghosts. Complete all levels of Fruitful Forest. Find a secret level of Fruitful Forest. Complete all levels of Gnick Castle. Entry on portal on dungeon level. That's weird, weird uh, writing. Released creature on last level of Gnick Castle. Complete all levels of Deepwood. Find a secret level of Deepwood. Complete all levels of Ancient Stones. Find Finish the game without all the fragments of tetragen. Finish the game with all the fragments of Tetragen. And that's it. Okay. Let's have a look. Go options. Basic sound options. Credits. Let's have a look see if it's Cafundo. Must be the name of the company, Cafundo. Small team. Not many people develop this. There's actually more people from the publisher. And there is the developer. A lot more people. <laughs> okay, new game. Okay, we are chopping wood. Choppy choppy. Chopping wood, his son's disappeared. Okay. Disappeared into a glowing light. Oh, okay. we're, we're on Lost Awakening. Fruitful Forest. Okay, I, I have no clue what kind of game this is, so I'm going to this completely with no knowledge. Oh, okay. Okay, that's a big, bold, graphical style. So, left stick moves. I'm not, I don't like the screen pulsing in and out. That's, I'm guessing this is a fragment. Can we jump? Look at this. One of 13. But you push up and you climb up. This the exit. Oh, okay. Any other ones do anything? Why have we got left and right, left and left on the side of the screen? That's weird. X is nothing, Y is nothing, B is nothing, A is nothing, triggers nothing, bumpers nothing, pause, brings up a retry menu. No, literally nothing. We can move. So finally you woke up. You don't remember anything, do you? My name is Lucius. Stay calm, I will help you find your way home. Oh, okay. So you literally just walk towards the wall and you climb up it. There's no jumping involved, no button input. 
You must find the secret garden. Secret passage to your world is hidden there. Excellent. I imagine this is going to get a lot more complicated. Okay, now that's just floating in the middle of nowhere, so I'm thinking we're rotating this around. Is it one of these, is it? What's this do? Now left trigger and oh, oh no. Ooh. Oh, on your ass. <laughs> I can't see any fragments. Have I messed this up now? I can't interact with this anymore. So it's got to be the right way up, even though we could act interact with that, couldn't he? Let's face it. Such a fall will definitely kill you. Be careful. Look for the right places to step. We're falling too far kills us. Okay, that will get us to the exit. Four, four, seven, eight. I was counting those. How rude. Okay, like we have, oh, hello. It's nicely animated. I would just would love it was closer all the time so we could appreciate the animation, you know, a bit more. Select and move the magical towers to modify the world. LB, RB, and that move tower. Okay. Most that goes. That goes. Should do, shouldn't it? How do I exit this? Okay. Please tell me he can climb up. Oh, yes, he can. Oh, so do we have this permanently now? Interesting. Four, five, six, seven. Only eleven. I said one of thirteen in the thing. Maybe there's just thirteen fragments in in the game's entirety. Maybe that's what it is. Um. Okay. Why is the speech bubble appearing? I really don't know why the left and right things are there. Well, it's left and left. <laughs> left stick, left stick, what? <laughs> God, okay, this has got more complicated, hasn't it?
That goes down. Okay, if I press B. You can't climb up on there now. Damn it. I've stuckered myself. Okay, let's let's rest let's restart. Please say that goes in. I think that will work. You don't die from that. No, right there. Yeah, thank you. Oh no, I can't because I can't rotate the level, can I? Okay, um, can I climb back up here? Yes. Okay. Uh, let's retry this again. That'd work, wouldn't it? You can climb two blocks. Yay, yay, okay, we go, get in. I've lost the ability to speak. Ooh, this must be a ghost of the sun. Okay, we have to get this. I was thinking the Ghost of the Sun might have been the thing that keeps giving us tips, but obviously not. So you can move towers now, that's good, right? Try to create paths that can help you. The towers marked with symbols are the ones that can be moved. Yeah, I gathered, I gathered that game. I like how it, it, it shows you you're going to die if you fall off. I, I still don't know why this, these arrows are to the sides of the screen. They, they save, serve absolutely no purpose at all. Um, I guess we can these raise up so we don't go splat. I mean, I need to get to that. Ghost. First of all, what 
what happens if um okay does this that's the low as it low as it goes that's as high as it goes okay what happens if i actually control it's a thing this, this seems to be a thing Okay, and I guess I move this one across. I do this, and then if I... Do that, we should survive. Okay, now I can speak to the ghost. What are you looking for? Your mind seems to be confused. Continue for the poll. Don't waste your time with distractions. Do we have trackers? No. Problem is I can't interact with that, can I? I can't I can't use this. Say what I can use though. Why is it? Why is? Why can't I do that? What, why can't? Why can't I raise him up? What? Are you kidding me? What? Well, that's that's dumb. That's that's total. Maybe maybe it's because this is in the way. This, this is cumbersome to control. That's so stupid. I can't... I can't move it up. Alright, we'll do, we'll do this instead. I will not be defeated. Ultimately where they want it to go. Now I can, I can activate this one. What I don't like is, I mean, it makes zero sense that I can't use that there now, because it doesn't matter if it's sideways or not, I can still press the button and do whatever I needed to do. Uh, but what I don't like is that as soon as you let go, it drops you out of it. You should better press a button to exit. That would have been miles better. This is what the ghost opened. I don't know if you noticed that. I'm assuming this is the secret level. And that's his first achievement of the game. Find the secret level of the fruitful forest. Oh, 
<laughs> Are you kidding? Okay. Oh, God. What? Hmm. Uh, right. <laughs> uh, no, sorry, sorry, you guys don't know what I'm laughing at. Apologies. Um, <laughs> um. There's a glowy thing here. Does that leave me out? Uh, can I? I can't actually interact with anything because look, if I climb up here, I'm stuck. So maybe I walk through this thing. Let's do it. Whatever. No, that that leaves that exits that gets us out. Can I go back in, please? Oh no! Don't say I messed it all. Can I, can I go back in, please? Why can't I go back in? Oh, this is infuriating, infuriating now. Yo. Ooh, this is this is fiddly. I oh, know you're not you're not gonna let me. <laughs> what? I want to go back into the bloody house. You're not letting me, are you? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to retry this entire level. Oh, it's going to start me. Yeah, okay. Okay, we did that, didn't we? Go away! God, this is so cumbersome. Right, so so right. <laughs> so we can we can lower it, which is which is dangerous, but we can't raise it. I mean that's just stupid. back in why did it leave yeah. okay all right we're good all right let's put him again hello ba doom yeah lovely then I did that. Did that. Did that. Did that. Take that around. <clears throat> I just, I just think a cursor would have been much easier than having to use bumper buttons to I mean, transport us all around. And I say, why, why, why in the world, why in the world I can't just raise that platform up, which is much safer than dropping it. We'll never know. Can we go in there now? Yeah. And why, why once we leave here, can we not go back in? Okay. 
Okay, let, let's go up here. Right. Can we can we interact with anything? No, we can't do a damn thing. So what? How do I get that? How in the world do I get that? Hmm. I want hold on a minute. Right, I think we maybe come back. I think maybe because like we have a lantern and we didn't have a lantern in um, the A levels, didn't we? So maybe we get more equipment and then we can do something with that. My God, I'm pressing. I'm pressing the button for the lantern. Will you please just activate it? Thank you. Clunker gone, should be called. Well, so it's very clunky. And like I say, why you can't raise the platform, which would be a lot safer than dropping it. I have no bloody clue, but that's the game. So go there. Right back. All right, drop me off. Drop me off, speak to him again. Yes, thank you. Thank you, ghosty. Right, that's open. The reason I reset the level in case that door is a one-time use only. So, if it is... Then I haven't messed it up. Not just. Oh, we could actually. No, we could. C can we climb that? Oh. Oh, I could. I could lower that. Do that. That's as high as that goes. Right, I hope this goes higher. It does. Nice. Okay, so we can exit this way. <clears throat> we'll come back for you. Oh, there's another ghost. There's a shard as well. You see, like, I've got to... You've, you've got to exit out every time to move your character. Why can't we just... The left, the left stick does nothing while we're in this mode, look. It doesn't move the things up or down at all. 
So wh why why can't we move while in pillar moving mode? I don't understand why you restricted that. Stop looking for ghosts. No, there's an achievement. Don't put an achievement in if you don't want to stop looking for ghosts. <laughs> um, it's a gang. I can't get the shard. Do I want to interact with this? I don't know. No, because if I turn that, I'm just going to be stuck. This actually move. Oh, it does move. Okay. We get higher by using these as no that's as high as it goes actually i could get higher i think i guess i gotta press b to exit that which is annoying why am i floating why in the bloody hell am i floating okay now if i turn this that way hopefully that don't kill us right this this better lower it does lower enough. Oh, I can just turn the world now, can I? Just do that. I want that though. How do I get that? I think we get something, some more abilities or something. We must do. How long have we been going on this? 32 minutes. Let's let's try and complete this um this level, this section. Um let's climb up here. That's the only thing I can really do. Um, I have to get that, don't I? <laughs> I'm just getting some really, really amusing emails today. Ah, oh, dear. I don't know if this is right what I'm doing. Okay. Well, I can't go right. Just go out. Yes, it does. Yeah, the thing just turns into the... Disappears into the ground. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. That's falling a long way. Shit. Okay. Okay. Is there any way I can... Yeah, I could minimize the fall, couldn't I? Do that. Do that, and then do that, and we're literally back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay.
Okay, we can get... To, this one's different. Look, this one's got two. This one's got two swirly whirlies on it. So... Oh, this one starts in the middle. So we can... Choose to turn it left and right. I mean, I'm presuming I want to turn it clockwise. Because that's where I'm trying to head. I assume. Could be assuming completely. And that looks a bit far to far. Oh no, we can't. Ah, there's a pillar. There's a pillar. There's a pillar. Didn't see it. Didn't see it. Yay, we're alive. We are alive. This one is just about just getting to each device and turning it, isn't it? This one. Okay, this is problematic. No, it's not. Uh, duh, duh, duh. So you can do that. Drop there. Drop there. And we're out. Here we go. Wow, okay. There's another ghost. Just noticed him. Daddy, where have you been? I've been waiting for you so long. Have you abandoned me? I am beyond the castle in the deepest part of this world. How can I abandon you and you're the one who keeps disappearing? Um, I guess we head this way. Oh, God, go away. Castle seems to be close now. That huge symbol on the horizon is the entrance gate. Been shut tight for a long time. Good. I guess we... To, I guess we do that. Um, that's gonna kill me. I don't want to do that. And I turn back. Thank you very much, please. Ah, I don't go all the way. Um, okay. Oh, there's one there. I didn't see that. There we go. We're nice and safe. So, if we do that. Oop. Oh, that one, that one tilts with the gravity of the world. Okay. That's new. That is new. Okay, so that goes all the way here. So I could... Why is this here, though? Why is this here? Because we can simply just walk to the exit. Is that just to mess you up? Because if I turn it... Let's see, it goes to the right, so that will drop me back down to the start, basically. There's no point turning it. I think it's just to annoy you if you do go ahead and turn it. Because um, before we've had to use all the mechanics in the level, haven't we? Oh, okay. This is the last area. We've got a lot of double ones, so that, I think that means it starts in the middle. We've got a ghost as well. Oh, hello. Towers are different here. They have a distinct kind of magic. Solve the enigma, Lucius. The gate shall open. Well, no, they don't. They 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 react with gravity. Not magic. It's gravity. So I could 
climb this and drop down to get to the uh, device thing. go that way we can reach the next one and we can get the go yeah let's go get the ghost hello son at the stone castle the world won't turn take care daddy Everyone who went to the castle has turned us down. Nice. Thanks for the tip. I guess we use this now? That's gonna kill me! Shit. I noticed at the last minute. This is this is quite a clever game. It's it is very nice. I do question the pricing of this one now. I do question. Oh, we can interact with these. I didn't notice that. Oh, that's weird. Okay, I do question the pricing now. I always like puzzle games to be around about ten pounds. I know it's like I like say it's two pound fifty, only two pound fifty, but um, you know, two pound fifty is two pound fifty. It just makes it more attractive if you say it's under a tenner. I think this is definitely right because this leads to the sun. I think this is definitely, definitely right. We've seen what that's got to say. Okay, so when I'm here, it turns it that way. So that means I need to put that down as a put that down as a safety kind of bracket thing. I think possibly, maybe I don't know. Uh, that's because if I turn it that way, I'm just heading back to the same thing that I just turned. So there's no point turning it that way. It has to be this way. Okay, let's uh, let's turn, and we, we won't die this time. We'll land. Cool. Okay. Right. Maybe we. Oh, I f oh, I've just noticed there's actually no exit. So I think the exit is that giant s square in the middle. So we are we actually are at the exit right now. And we just got to match these up. And we're good, I think. Possibly, maybe. I don't know. Oh, we'll find out, won't we? Um. I imagine this is a very simple introduction to matching symbols up. Does that work? It does indeed. Oh, that's not good. I'm going to fall on my ass now. No, I'm not. Complete all the levels of the Fruitful Forest. Ginnick Castle. We're on Ginnick Castle, everybody. Wow. Oh. Okay.
We are inside. Secret garden should be here somewhere. Be careful with the steam towers. They can burn you. And there's another NPC. Can I... Oh, I can... I can do that. And what was if I let go? Does it start to go down again? It does. Ooh. Okay. We've got a fragment there. We seem to have some new interactive stuff that glow green. We have portals all over. Does this just take me straight across those? Oh no, it's... What is this then? Oh. It's a switch for a door. Uh, can I just make these? Okay. Uh huh? It's going to let me make a straight thing across. Okay. Cool. What if I go through here? Where's this lead? Oh, let's open the door to the exit. I'm assuming... See, here's the crazy bit. I, I can, I can, I can do this. But it won't let me raise it back up again. So this is dumb. You, don't, please don't kill me, things, whatever you are. I got a piece. Two out of 13. There's only 13. Spread across all the levels by the looks of it. So now I think I've got to... Slowly... I, I, can, I can climb two, can't I? Oh, that won't let me though because of the ceiling. Because his, his his fat bum won't go through. Excellent. <laughs> I mean, this would be so much simpler if you could just lift, just raise the platforms up, wouldn't it? I don't understand why we can't raise them up. It's perfectly safe. It's just like a lift. But the game game says no. So unfortunately, um, unfortunately, we have to do what the game says. Unfortunately, it'd be so much simple, wouldn't it? I'd just literally be able to stand here, raise it up, and we'd be there. But the game, I say, game says no. No, oh, that's the wrong. That's the wrong hole. Nobody leave a comment about that. Uh, I mean, it's not complicated to figure out now what I'm going to do, but it's just, it's just like. So we, we, it's, it's so, we can't make a straight path. Watch this one be awkward and won't line up properly. Yeah, it don't really matter. We can climb up there. Okay, successful level. Okay, I think we're going to leave it there for in terms of the looking at the game and uh, doing the re review of it. Uh, I like this. It's um, it's clever. It's uh, got a lot of things going to it, and I imagine it is going to add a lot of layer of complication to uh, things as we go along. I couldn't see any way of getting those fragments I had to leave behind, so maybe we do get more abilities as the game progresses, and then we can 
then we can backtrack. In fact, let me actually just make sure we can backtrack to other areas. I'm assuming that we can. In Castle. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. We can. We can look at any go or anyone that we want. Okay, so that, that's that's good. That's good. Okay, so it may. Uh, let me just uh, double check. Actually, let me just go back to the very first level. And let's see if we do actually retain as lantern because we wouldn't have had it originally. Are you going to get up, sir? Come on. I don't need to see cutscenes. Get up! Uh, no, we don't, actually. Let's, uh... Hmm. Why now? Oh, these levels are different, though, aren't they? These levels are scripted to an extent so they may not have items i think we get the lantern in the next level though don't we so i'm not going to be able to test it no we don't get a lantern in the next level. i don't know i don't know i guess a, a deeper playthrough of it will probably reveal how we do that or maybe there was a way to do it and i just didn't see it um but graphically very nice don't understand do not understand why we have the big arrows to the left and the right of the screen with the left stick imposed over them i have no clue the only thing I can think that they are there for is that maybe this was a t mobile game, possibly. I'm actually just going to have a look on the app, app store just to see if this was a mobile game. Because that would explain the UI being there. Because it just, it's just odd. It's just very, very odd why it's there all the time. Um, What was it called again? Tetragon. Tet... Ra gone. No, no, it's not. It's not an apple anyway. Let's drag gone. Yeah. Hmm. Just a weird design choice. It's so prevalent on the screen, and it just serves zero purpose. <laughs> it's just nuts. Um, but graphically nice, um, the story's not really there, is it, as much as just basically you got to find your son. Uh, is the son actually properly dead? It's just, not just a little bit dead, but is he properly dead? Uh, are we going to resurrect him when we get to the end? Um, what are these fragments? What is the Tetragon? Um... Could have had a bit more explanation for us. But it's all about the puzzles and the puzzles are there. It's a, a very slow thinking game. Um, obviously, it's going to add more layers of complication. One thing I hope it doesn't add is moving enemies that will kill us. I would like it to avoid that. I would like the game just the game's danger to come from the environment rather than things moving around because the game isn't designed for quick fluid movement at all so if things were to come and get us I think we would have a hard time and the, the light levels would be difficult that's just me speculating hopefully it's just like environmental things things that will drop on his head if we tilt the level the wrong way falling on the spikes things such as that um that are going to be the uh, barriers to progression uh but yeah very nice game uh, I would say that it's a wait for a sale though, because I think it's pressed a little bit too high for what it is. I would probably like to see this at between $7.99 and $9.99 price range for the UK. Which would knock it down to anything from like a $10 to a $12.50 game in the um, US. And the same for Euros. I just think that would be a more fitting price for it. It's only a slight 
reduction, but I have to be completely honest. Uh, because usually with these kind of games as well, you do get very little replay value because once you've solved the puzzles, you, you tend you tend not to go back to them because you know the solutions and the, the fun is all about uh, figuring them out, isn't it? But anyway, that's uh, that's it from me. Uh, a definite wait for a sale on this one. I would uh, appreciate it if you could take the time to leave a thumbs up on the video, hit the subscribe button and notification bell. It really does help me out and gets more eyes on the videos and more eyes on these indie games, which more people should be playing. Because there is some really talented people out there making some very, very good games that sadly get overlooked by the majority of gamers who think Call of Duty and FIFA are the only games that exist, uh, which is a very sad state indeed. And hopefully I'm changing that a little bit and uh, bringing eyes onto these titles that, like I say, deserve be played and deserve to be seen a bit more but uh yeah thanks for watching i'll catch you on the next one